Do you have a torn meniscus? Are you in a lot of pain? Does it feel like someone sliced up the inside of your knee with an exacto? If you have a torn meniscus, I made this video for you to share with you some studies that I discovered back when I tore my knee. Hey, what's up? This is Ian. So, all right, you're doing research on what you should do about your meniscus and about surgery and whatnot. So you're going to kind of run into some yeah, orthopedic surgeons that will say stuff like this. It's a tissue that has no ability to repair itself. Some orthopedic surgeons will say that it can't heal. You tear, tore your meniscus, it can't heal, you should remove it. But the problem is the most common procedure, partial meniscectomy, is that it leads to osteoarthritis. Even if you cut out as little as 10%, uh, some studies say that it can increase because you're basically changing the function of the joint even at a subtle level. The other option is to get repair. Repair is usually considered the better option. Partial meniscectomy is like you may get results quickly that you feel better, you know, go back to doing whatever you're doing. It's more of the band-aid kind of approach. It's likely to take away your symptoms quicker but long term you're likely to get arthritis. That's what all the many many studies say. Other option, repair. Repair, better long term results yet maybe 20 to 30 percent of the time those can fail. So which means you could have to get another operation. So here's a guy I did the stitching and it was horrible. Ended up with a straight brace for six months. PT for nine months, took about a year to be able to roll. I was talking about jujitsu, five years later, the spot that got prepared, uh, repaired just popped back open. So 20 to 30% is a bunch of study, five studies here. Another thing with the partial meniscectomy, there's a study here, actually I think there's more than one study that says really the outcome versus a sham surgery is not that different. All these studies I'll put a link to below. A really interesting study I think is this one. Although this is an informal study, but it shows you what people are searching for. This is a picture of the searches related to in the bottom of Google. Knee pain one, two years after meniscus surgery. Knee swelling months after meniscus surgery. Long-term problems after meniscus surgery. Can't bend knee after meniscus surgery. So these show up when you type in a keyword up here. I typed in the same keyword, but these can change according to the time, your location, and your history. Most data out there, it takes a long time for here. It says here's a study that says it takes 17 years on average for findings to reach clinical practice. So basically, you're getting old medicine most of the time. You basically are getting the practices 50 to 100 years from now are going to be different than they are now. Before they just did partial meniscus, uh, no, they did a full meniscectomy. They took the whole meniscus out, and then they started realizing, oh, that's not working well. So then they started cutting less and less out. But here's the thing: like, it can heal. Here, here's an example. They looked at cartilage defects in knees over a period of two years, and let's see, 33 percent of the subjects had a worsening and 37% of the subjects had an improvement. So that's contradictory to what this guy says, right? This guy is kind of like the Grim Reaper, and many orthopedic surgeons will also talk about this red and white zone and say, well, if your tear is in the white zone, it can't heal. But actually, it's not that black and white. Because the white zone, here's a study here, that basically says that cells from the red zones were able to cross over into the white zone. Okay, another thing is when you injure your knee, you have stem cells in your synovial fluid. Here we go. Synovial fluid, stem cells. Okay, so there's things that you can do. Surgery is one thing that you can do, but it's the most risky thing you can do. If you want to learn more about how you can amplify your body's healing potential, I created a site called Heliscus, and it will help you do that. If you have any questions, you can let me know. I'm going to put links to all these studies uh, below in the description, or you can learn more.